G'day folks, here's a quick little video on how and why you should do an IMU calibration on your DJI Spark. So there's two types of calibrations you can do on your Spark. One is the IMU calibration and the other is compass calibration. And the IMU is not one you have to do very often and you probably shouldn't do it too often, especially if you're out in the field as you need a perfectly flat surface to do it. Whereas the compass calibration is usually recommended to do before every flight or especially if you change locations and uh, you know it's a little bit more forgiving and you can do it out in the field very easily. Now an IMU calibration should be done when you first get it because this thing has been shipped from a faraway place. It's probably been banged around quite a bit and uh, you know it's a good idea to make sure that it's calibrated properly. Another reason you should think about doing an IMU calibration is if you've crashed it or it's hit something or if it's acting oddly up in the air, you know, like if it's drifting or doing different things um, to correct problems, just do a quick IMU calibration and that should uh, solve that for you. So DJI recommends taking the propellers off. I've seen people do them with and without, so that's totally up to you. I am gonna leave mine on for this demonstration, but at this point you can go ahead and pull them off if you uh, would like to. Now the most important thing before you begin is that you need a completely flat surface. I'm going to be using my iPad for this demonstration so I had to download a free level app. If you're using an iPhone or an Android device they have levels built right into them. So just find a surface that's flat and then we'll begin. So now to get started we're just going to boot up our drone as if we were about to fly it. So we'll turn on the drone. and we will power on the remote and we'll just wait for them to connect when this light turns green now we've just connected to the spark remote wi-fi and we're going to launch the dji go 4 app and now we're going to hit start flight and it says i have a low battery but that's okay we're not actually going to go for a flight so we have more than enough power to do the calibration we're going to click on the three dots up here in the top right hand corner and then we're going to click on this little icon here the little drone icon and down here near the bottom where it says sensors we're going to click on it and down here you'll see there's a button that says calibrate imu we're going to click on it, it gives us some information don't move the aircraft unless you're rotating it as instructed and uh, you know keep it on a flat surface so when you're ready you're going to hit start So now it's saying to put the aircraft like this. So that's what we do. Now it's telling us to put the aircraft in this position. Just follow the animations online on the thing. Now it's saying flip it up this way. Now it says to flip it like that. Now it's saying to flip it like that. And it is complete. So now when you get out to the field, you may want to do a compass calibration, which, like I said, is different than the IMU calibration. And the compass calibration, like I said, should be done a little more frequently, almost every flight. So to access it, we just click on the status bar here at the top, and you'll see where it says compass, and it says calibrate. And I'm going to be doing another video showing you how to do that. It's pretty basic, pretty self-explanatory, but... Uh, you know, I'll do a video of that maybe in a week or so and uh, show you how that's done. Well, folks, thanks for watching. That shows you just how easy it is to do an IMU calibration and a little information of when and how you should do it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. We're going to have a ton of videos on the Spark over the coming months. And uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. Helps me grow my channel. And we'll see you in the next one.